In this video, we're gonna be reviewing this Orbital Sander, brand spanking new by Makita. Let's get started. All right, my old Orbital Sander bit the bullet after, gosh, like 10 years. So it's time to invest in a new one. There's lots on the marketplace. So hopefully this video can help you out in making a good decision here. There's lots of junk out there uh, for a pretty low price point. This one, uh, I don't think will break the bank at all by a reputable brand and hopefully has the quality. It comes with this little travel case, one-handed operation for the most part, where you can slide those little things on, uh, out and it, the, the top lifts up. So here it is, brand new. Look at this. Now I'm going to be doing some real sanding for a project that I'm working on. But here's the dust bag and we're going to be putting that to the test as well. But I just think this is sexy. Look at that color. Look at that grip. What a great design. Lots of vent ventilation happening from the sides. We'll test that out to see if there's air coming out. Power button on the top. And seems heavy, durable, pretty well made. Now it does not come with uh, sandpaper pads. So you have to buy those separately, unfortunately. Biggest drawback, they could have thrown a few in there. By the way, welcome to the channel. Do lots of home projects around the house, saving you time and money. Click that subscribe button. I'd put out videos regularly. Like this video and share this with somebody that you know. And if you want to make your own YouTube channel and turn your hobbies into real cash every month, check out my course. You can click the link in the description below. But no, sandpaper disc is not the end of the world. They are, I think, cheap enough. Here's the power cord, and we'll go ahead and get that dust bag on there. And it does kind of squeeze on there. I'll show you how this works. You can take this off if you want to empty the bag uh, fully and it just turns off just like that. So pretty simple operation. That part does require two hands and we'll get that locked back into place. So let's get this thing fired up here and we'll actually put it to the test to see if it holds up. Notice the pattern on the circular discs. This is not required, but if you cover up those, that's those are the holes where the sawdust that you're actually cutting with the sandpaper gets sucked up through into the bag. So if you cover those, you might have the same diameter disc, but if they don't have the proper hole alignment, then you're not going to be sucking up uh, as, as much of that that uh, sanded sanded wood as you want to. So keep that in mind as you buy uh, pads. And I'll put links in the description below for this one, of course, but also the matching sandpaper that goes with it because that sometimes can be a huge pain in the butt. What's the diameter? How many holes? Is Which one's right? Anyway, so you can actually hear this thing in operation. It has one speed, so not a variable speed. And power button on the top and pretty much one-handed operation. Nice and smooth. And I'm actually sanding some pine here. That's what you're looking at. You can get a feel for the motor and what that sounds like. And we'll slow it down too for you. Not a lot of vibration at all. It does depend on what type of grit you have on the sandpaper, of course. And you can even hold it like this for smaller pieces. So, you know, it's an orbital sander, nothing fancy, but I am pretty impressed with the control, the quality. It balances pretty well. It doesn't jump out at me. My other one had a little bit of, little torque, I guess. This one's pretty smooth. Now, as far as it can, can it take down orange peel on textured drywall? Well, that depends on the grit again on your, on your sandpaper, but. This one is doing the job. I'm putting up some Wayne's coating. Good old Wayne. Love that guy. Nice work, Wayne. And that's a separate video, of course. You can search my channel for that. That should be out already by the time you're watching this video. But look at that. Nice and smooth. Notice the air coming out of the side vents. There is some sandpaper dust accumulating. So that green is kind of turning white. Now to empty this thing, you just pop it off and you can twist it up. You don't want to, you, you can actually empty it just through the hole. You just shake it out like that, or you can actually take that piece off. But overall, I think a quality orbital sander for the price point, I'm pretty happy with, very happy with it. And hopefully again, this video can help you. Thanks so much.